Welcome, this is Shoreboard's headquarters. I'm Tim Shore, founder. This is Things People Places. What's up guys, welcome back to Mikey Polis. Today we are back on the Things People Places Entrepreneur Business Episodes. We are shooting today with Tim Shore of Shoreboards. We are up in Anoka, Minnesota. They handcraft stand-up paddle boards, long boards, wake surfboards. They handcraft all of them. So we're gonna take a tour today. We're gonna see the shop. He's gonna tell us kind of about his past, how he got going. So let's head inside. This is Shoreboard's headquarters. I'm Tim Shore, founder. So here's all of our woods that we use on all of our different builds. As you can tell, it comes in raw. Uh, we get rough sawn cedar, and we get it actually pre-cut at a sawmill down in Jordan, Minnesota. So that saves a ton of time for us uh, to be able to have it pre-cut like that. And that's we use that type of wood for our, our stand-up paddle boards and our wake surfs. And then alongside of it, you'll see some bass, the lighter color wood is basswood and aspen. Uh, so we use that in our stand-up paddle boards. That's kind of, this is some aspen. It's real light in tone and it, it just contrasts really well with the dark cedar. Yeah. So we use that on a majority of our stand-up paddle board builds. And then um, next up is we got our polonia wood, which we use mainly in our wake surf application. This is a really lightweight wood, not only light in color, but light in weight. So when in wake surf, we're always trying to shave as much weight as possible. So we use that in a combination of cedar. So we have the light and dark as well in that, in that avenue. Um, and then we just got some maple and we got to do some reorganization here, but um, maple and then we have walnut, which is a, also a very dark wood. Um, same kind of thing where we're trying to get our contrast of our lights and darks. And that's what we use on all of our longboard builds. So the wood comes in, it comes in raw. Oh, guys, I'm so glad I caught you. I don't know if you know this, but your car warranty, it's about to expire. No, but for real, I partnered up with Shoreboards. Down in the description box below, there's a code MikeyPolis15. You can use that code for 15% off any item in their entire store. The items you're watching them make right now. Also, if you want to make any one of these items, you can take a DIY class with Shoreboards with Tim in the evenings and hand make any one of these items that look the exact same as when he makes them. So I'll have all that information in the description box below. Back to the video. We bring it through our uh, table saw as well as our band saw. And once we get it to the dimensions that we're looking for, we take the wood from the raw stage and cut stage and we get it over to our gluing area, which is where Luke is right now. We just glued up some, some longboard panels. Uh, so this is our JLT clamp. We absolutely love this clamp. It's the lifeblood of, this, of the shop. Uh, we basically need stuff on there every day for, for the business to be running smoothly. If we don't have anything on there, then we're not making any money. <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes through that clamp. Basically, you get it as a uh, panel. Uh, and then at that point, like there's a panel that's done up of those long boards over that's leaning up against the wall. We'll take that now and we'll cut it down to the different shapes and sizes of, of orders that are placed by using our templates. Uh, and even behind there, you'll see kind of the templates for the stand-up paddle. Board. Same thing, we take these off the clamp and we template them out. So still, they're kind of rough, ugly looking, you know, uneven. We run them through. Depending on whether it's a long board or a waist surf or stand up, mainly we put most things through our wide belt. We call her Sandy. She, uh, she flattens everything out for us, does a really good job uh, of saving a ton of time on sanding and, and gives us a nice, clean, flat surface. So once we get our, our skins done and how we want them, 
Then, for instance, on the stand-up paddle boards, then we're gonna basically bring them over to our rocker tables over there, which is a preset rocker, which gives our nose and tail rocker for our boards. And uh, we do some fiberglass work, add the inner internal skin, and then we add the top, whereas you can see a couple boards over there that have their tops added. You can see the inside where it's completely hollow. All of our boards are, are, are made of wood. We have no foam in any of our, our products. And after that, yeah, once they're done with that, then we bring them over to this stage where this is a couple class boards that we uh, are working on right now. Uh, this is through day five. So tonight is day six. These students will come in and they'll sand this all down, make it look pretty. They added their own custom logos on these boards. And uh, we'll also be installing the nose and tail tonight as well. So tomorrow they're going to look a lot different than they do right now. They look kind of ugly, but they will look pretty by the end of today. Like I say, we'll have the nose and tail on there, and then tomorrow, or the, yeah, tomorrow the next day they'll uh, they'll be coming in and shaping the nose and tail. And then at that point, you got a solid board where we are at that point going to start glassing it. And so this one's got a couple coats on. Needs to be final sanded, and then this is going to end up getting sprayed. Um, all of the epoxies that we use are UV resistant, so um, they're never going to yellow over time, and uh, they put a lot, of, or a lot less VOCs than um, some of the other epoxies on the market. So. separate sizes um, for, yeah, for a client of So what's the step after we get to this point? So we already glued up the panels for these. So now what we'll do is we'll use these templates. I gotta still find, I gotta draw the center line on these just because they're brand new, but normally you'd have a center line on it. And then we basically lay this onto our panel, draw our template or outline, outline on our template, I should say. And then, um, and then we take our actual panel through the bandsaw. And that's real rough at that point. We'll take it through our planer, get the top and bottom, smooth, you know, skin looking really good. And then, uh, and then we'll do some manual hand shaping just to make sure everything looks good. And we'll do some routering out of the edges. Um, and then it's then it's poised to basically put in a logo if we want, which I always put our SB logo on the bottom of our boards. And people uh, have the option to customize. Yeah. Oh yeah. In fact, we got one over here. I'll show you. It's a pretty kind of cool one. Got a little cool story to it. This one we just got out of the booth. So I'll buff this out, but it's already pretty good. But we'll we'll, we'll get it looking showroom finish. But basically, yeah, they, they, she customized it with the fireman, or firefighter logo, um, put his initials in, and then they recently had a um, friend of theirs pass away from in firefighting, and his, wow. his, his badge number was seven. So she wanted to put that into the board as well, but wanted it to be real subtle. Um, so yeah, you can personalize any one of our boards, whether it's longboard, wake surf, or stand-up paddle board. What do you seem to get more of? Do you get more people that just want to rock your guys' stuff, or do you do you get a lot of custom? Oh yeah, we get a lot of custom. We get a lot of mainly weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, graduations, stuff like that. They want to make it personal and they'll put something on there. Or um, 
company logos. So we'll, we'll get a lot of that, but um, then we even have a couple shops that are specialty shops like Boji Surf down in uh, Iowa that we do all their logo on all their boards. And okay. um, it goes over really well in that area just because Boji Surf is really well known. Yeah. And so people want a Boji Surf board. So yeah. So it's uh, so some dealers can do that. Some dealers it, they don't go through as much, and we you know do the shoreboard logo on that in that case, but. But yeah, so a lot of these are shoreboard branded. They're gonna be going to Shields. Um, that we just gotta do some finished work on. Sweet. Here's another 54 that's going down to that Florida dealer. So that thing is just be so big. Yeah. So we still gotta do the holes in this, and then we'll do the finishing on this side, which we put an anti-slip spray on the top. This is the bottom of the board. Okay. So we want the bottom to look like a mirror when it comes out of here. Yeah. Um, we still gotta buff it out, but, but yeah. So longboards are fun because it, you know it can any age group can do it, and uh, similar to our wake surf, it's the popularity we see in the wake surf side of things is just anyone can do it. So it opens up the the realm of possibility for everybody. Yeah. So. Yeah, he does. <laughs> This step is, is, is quite rewarding. It goes from chalky white to back to life, basically. In the time. Oh, I bet. I love that stuff that's just like extra satisfying. Take till you have to do the, to from start to finish. What's like? What's the average amount of time you put into one of these? Uh, on the wake surfs, actual hands-on time, you're talking like eight to ten hours. What about on a paddleboard? About double, so fifteen to twenty hands-on. Guys, that is going to wrap up our video today at Shoreboards here in Anoka, Minnesota. Get that trailer in the background again. Boom. I did partner up with Shoreboard. Down in the description box below, there's gonna be a code, MikeyPolis15. That's gonna get you 15% off any product from Shoreboards. Everything's handmade, you just saw the video. You know the quality of it. You cannot beat that, 15% off. Link in the description below. I'll also have all of their web information, social information for Shoreboards. Be sure to check them out, tell them Mike sent you. And with that, we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.